Greetings, we are Anonymous. We would like to tell you about, Sonia's story. Operation Sonia's Truth, initiated. As an infant, Sonia was determined to be dependent on, and been neglected by the Tennessee courts. In the first 10 months while Sonia was in Tennessee, her birth father never once went to Tennessee to retrieve his child and never once contacted the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, or the courts to regain custody of Sonia. At the recommendation of the Department of Children's Services, or abbreviated DCS, David and Kim Hodgen became her foster parents and eventually started the process and then officially adopted Sonia when she was two years old. During this time John was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison but he was able to have his sentence reduced to 7.5 years by testifying on a cold case murder. With his sentence reduction he was able to fight and have the adoption overturned on a technicality. On January 29, 2014, a year after the birth father was released from prison, a Tennessee judge ordered Sonia to go live with a man who was classified by the courts as having a substantial prior criminal history including crimes of violence, having a substantial drug abuse history, having two current protection orders outstanding against him, and on two traffic stops firearms and methamphetamines were found in his possession. The court found there were no conditions or combination of conditions that will reasonably assure the safety of any other person or the community. After being placed with John McCall, Sonia frantically called her parents all night long, begging them to come and get her. After arriving in Nebraska Sonia made another attempt to call home, pleading for her parents to come get her. Since this time the Hodgins have no contact with Sonia, as John McCall has disconnected his phone and turned away all letters and packages. Technically, Sonia is still in the custody of the Tennessee DCS and Sonia's placement with John McCall is the equivalent of a trial home visit. The Hodgins were granted standing in the case, which allows them to move forward in the courts to regain custody of their daughter. Anonymous will do everything it can to help protect Sonia from harm. We are Anonymous, we are Legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us.